Hello folks and welcome to the Living Offset vlog. I'm here now walking through a forest and you may notice that there's a lot of fires that have gone on. You can see all the base of the trees have been burnt. What, what's, that, what's that about like? Anyhow, so I'm here in one of Quilch's forests and I'm here because we have included forestry on the Living Offset platform. So Forestry is a path that is well trodden, I suppose, with regards uh, offset programs like the UK Woodland Code, and there's offset programs in Spain, France, a lot of places. Because up to now, there's 24 ETSs around the world. There are emission trading schemes on singular point, singular point emission sources, so cap and trades, like we have with the EU ETS, and they often use a flexible mechanism where you can submit forestry project credits for emissions. So my point is that the methodologies and all are well developed, well in place, and we can avoid overlapping with Kyoto by putting a date post-1990, I think has been done before in Europe, where we can issue carbon credits on forests that were planted post-1990. So keep posted now and I'll go through the different chapters I'll go through the different chap or the different projects that Living Offset will have on the platform and which will allow individuals to lower their emissions per capita by offsetting their consumption against projects from forestry, peatland restoration, ag, transport and buildings so take care have a nice day bye now